Hey everybody, welcome to the Saturday Streamies. Um, it's been a hot minute, so we're going to go get into the rules and everything as soon as I get my Twitch pulled up. And my stream manager in, and my chats. Okay, good deal. So we're going to go ahead and get into our rules, goals, our goddess blurb, um, and then we'll get into it. And dude, we've got, we got some stuff going on tonight. So, our goals is to survive and thrive 100 years. So, 12th of April, May 5600. That's our golden day. If we've made it that far, I will have completed one of the personal challenges that I've set up for myself. You, Excuse me. Utilize 95.5% of the map. Everything within that faint white line <laughs> has to have a rhyme, a reason, or, or something. It's got to have something. Okay? One of each title. Count and count test. We should have our count test tonight. So Lady will be our first Countess. I'm so excited. We've got our Sangyphage. We've got Sangria as our Sangyphage. Awesome. Mechanators. We've got our Domestic Mater Mechanator who is um, Gabby. But we're, we're uh, bringing Yar up. And he, I thought Yar was a she, but Yar is a he. He's going to be our Battle Mechanator. So that is awesome. Uh, we're missing one of the titles. Uh, we got a leader, which is also Lady, a moral guide, which is Yulian, and we don't have any specialists unlocked yet. Did I go on the wiki and check to see if, you know, that's never ending for the points? I didn't. Did I get my, my apparel run done? I didn't. Did I even go in and check the mods? No. <laughs> oh, it's been, it's been a busy week. Um, rules for our Kalana. Zero saves coming. I have talked about this a lot. It's my favorite and not favorite role at the same time. Is it forcing me to play the game? Yes. Do I like it? No. Have I killed people? Yes. Do I like it? No. Have I learned from my mistakes? Yes. Am I still hurt, but hurt about it? Yes. Is Pokemon going to pay the price for my butt hurt? Yes. <laughs> So, there's that. I can't wait for new arrivals. If I completely fuck everything up and everybody dies, I can't wait for new arrivals. It will not be the end of the run. It'll just be the start of more guinea piggies. <laughs> uh, I can overhead, I can modify my mountain tiles. So, um, this was once a very specific rule, just about overhead mountains, but now I've got holes in my base and the one mod I used to overhaul the mountains, I can actually, you know, put blocks in. Which is exactly what we're going to do, because I want our tasty, tasty mountain home to be safe. And right now it's not. It's pieces of cheese. Um, every colonist, prisoner, housemate must be converted to the Three Sisters Faith. So we've actually got a prisoner sitting in our base right now, and we're able to keep him for a long term, so we converted him. Absolutely. They're not ours to keep, but we did convert them. Um, everybody else is of the Three Sisters Faith. Poor Julian. I have messed that boy up. Um, I can only recruit a total of seven pawns total. That was when I had my three OGs. I do not have them. So the whole guideline at the time was I would have ten total and the rest of them would have to be our children. Which we're sticking in that. Go me. Um, all other, all other colonists... I am so sorry. I did not yawn once until I got on stream. Did I have a long day today? Yes. Hi, viewer. But I don't know why I'd start yawning the second I got on here. I'm so... Arg. Arg. Uh, do, 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 do. All other house colonists must be born created. So we've got four or five out of Baby Maker 9000. We're going to put uh, Singri and Yulian's baby in there today. That's the plan. Um, and then we have one natural born baby, which is Yar. And he's going to be our battle mechanator. Can't wait. Can't wait. Housemaids do not count to that total. So, they, they don't count. We're, they're not ours. We're just employing them. Any random join after the 10th colonist limit must be banished. We already banished one guy. We, we banished Manuel. We, we fixed him up and sent him out. I did not realize that banished meant that we banished them to die. But I'm not upset about it. I mean, it's, it's, we were uh, communists, loyalists, and... Um, 
Proserilizer. I cannot say that word. I can't say it. I've tried. I googled it. I practiced it, and I can't. I still can't say it. Um, but we anyway we shared the three sisters' faith like all the time. I do do one faction on site no mercy. That is the Poconoke. They came in. They drop potted raided on me, and I learned my lesson. But oh boy. Oh boy, is that lesson gonna come back and bite them on the asshole? Cause I, by the time our by the time this hundred year run is done, the Poconoke will no longer exist. No mercy. House made ratio cannot exceed one two five colonists, which means that we're being very close. We got like four babies until we can have another um, uh, addition to our game show. Who wants to be my next house maid? So I'm looking forward to that. We probably won't get that to that today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. Hi, Hellraiser Pony. Um, easy infestation must be disabled by year 50. At year 50, my subscription ends and I can't renew. Um, <laughs> so, fingers crossed, I actually know what the hell I'm doing at year 50. I, I hope. And last but not least, tattered apparel is an unforgivable sin. Not on my base. No, no, no. So right now, we actually, I got like a half of a bay of a hydroponics bay dedicated to cotton. Because I know my people are about to like trip over. And hit that hello again from Norway good to see you Hellraiser um, and last last but very specifically not least we have our three goddesses blurb uh, on the left is Wicked Arya in the center is me Sidey the Destroyer and boy am I living up to my title and on the very far right is CC the Oracle of Oceans uh, so far, everything that we prayed to CC for has come to pass. Arya has been our party girl, and I have absolutely lived up to my name. <laughs> because I have destroyed almost everything I've touched. So, let's get into it. Last time we left off, um, we had finished this big, huge, huge thing up here. And we got all the stuff for it. Um, King is still addicted to Luciferium, but he is the only one. Uh, we are working on uh, getting our storage bay done. Um, and I'm very glad that I have minimized everything because I think we're going to take one of these bays and we're going to put them where the storage is supposed to be. We're going to lose out on a couple of cells in there, but I really don't mind that. Uh, just so that way we can get this closed up and it actually look like what it's supposed to look like. Um, today we have plans to add Sangria and Yulian's baby to the Baby Maker 9000. This will be completed. Um, and then we have just a very few. I'm so sorry. I think that was somebody knocking on my door. Let me go see. My apologies. I'm going to keep that, uh, me, uh, I'm going to start a little bit slow. So that way, at least you guys have something to watch. Well, um, I got to check on that. That absolutely sounds like somebody knocking on my door. Hold on. Yeah. It is. It was not somebody knocking, it was thunder because it is raining outside. Hey, GK, welcome to the stream. 
So, plans for today. Uh, we're gonna get uh, Yulian and Sangria's baby in the Baby Maker 9000. Uh, we're gonna finish up the throne room. We're finally gonna make Lady our Countess. And, um, and we're gonna try to get this enclosed. We're gonna move these bays over. And I think, I think that's gonna be a good amount of stuff to get done today. <sighs> did I, did I go in and sit everybody's clothing things? I did not. Um, what did I do today? I went shopping and got a snack. And that, that's about it. I cleaned my room. <clears throat> Spied recruitment on demon. That's good to know. What's, what's up with you, Canuke? Yeah, shuttle arrives in 5.2 days, so we should be fine with that. Um, how's our meats? I think our meat situation is doing fine. I think we, uh, clean that while you're in there, please. Alright. So, if we're gonna go ahead and move that. Um, hmm. We need to unforbid that and that to get those mining jobs done. I hate wasting all that floor that I put down. We can't really close this off yet. We're working on it, but that's that's gonna take a hot minute. And it looks like those are ready to move, actually. Let's move that over and up so that we can clear that up. Um, let's get that in that corner. Um, and that one in that corner is kind of doubling it up that I don't mind that and I know we have to move our outside ones now So this guy here Sorry, it's got it's a lot of nit nitpiggly stuff But we're at that point where I'm glad we're doing nitpiggly stuff instead of just you know going from one disaster to another <laughs> That was that was really getting to me if you guys weren't aware that was really starting to uh, get my goat. But no, it's not so bad. No, it's not so bad. We just have to keep an eye on these so that way they don't over overlap too terribly much. Um, you go there. That guy's gotta go there. We'll put that guy here. There we go. Rock is no longer ins inspired to shoot. And we've got three, three female cows and a buffalo. Is it three females that we have? Do I have a guy? I do have a singular dude in there. Ah, uh, well. Uh, we'll have to do something about that. Well, I mean, I don't mind having more cows, but more cows equals more food, equals more storage space, so it's a thing. Thank you. I just, I thought it was somebody knocking, but it must have been thunder because there was nobody outside. And we're doing good on berries. We just need some Ivix meat. That's looking really good. I'm really happy on, on how that came out. It does kind of give that cafeteria vibe i really like it this whole area I, I absolutely adore now we're gonna go ahead and move all of the um rec stuff into this room and i don't mind that either but will it lower our impressiveness in here i don't think so we only have like stuff's dying oh my outside stuff okay yeah I didn't think we were going to get more than one harvest out of there. I don't have a lot of stuff in there. What do I have? Did I already move the books? I did. I already moved our book nook. Um, but we do need another one. Come on, Iki. One of these days, I will learn to just plug in my other controller. So we're just going to build a couple of these. And maybe move the couches down some, but I don't mind having more bookmarks. I happen to be a bit of a nerd, so I don't mind the bookie nooks. One there. I don't think it'll mess the mess the impressiveness up too much. We'll see. 
And I'm gonna break those up though. Tap, 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 Come on. Arg. I don't wanna, I hate that other extra thingy. And let's go get it. Fortunately, that doesn't require me but to get out from my butt and move like four steps away. If it's four. Damn. I'm okay. <laughs> so I lifted the keyboard up and I lifted it straight up because I was trying to avoid it hitting my um, my everything and evidently I clunked it into the ceiling fan so but I'm fine <laughs> no worries <laughs> I'm not missing anything it just scared the shit out of me I swear if it wasn't for the fact that I was dirty I wouldn't have no sense at all I scared the shit out of my cats too poor guys Tucker's like, the fuck, Mom? Alright, so let's see if that works. I hate that thing. Alright. Stop complaining. See, it's so much easier like that, and I still complain about it. Am I a 43-year-old th person whining on the internet? I am. Find me about it. Oh, uh, let's put that dude... I wish those were four buys, but they're not. Definitely don't want to get over there in that area. Um, what do we put this dude? We'll mirror it. We'll mirror it. I do love me some memorable soundtracks. And we will absolutely upgrade all these wooden chairs to really, really nice chairs. Oh, if we can paint them though. Oh, let's do that. While we're waiting on to happen um what color why don't we make the bookshelves hmm. i don't mind that yellow i think that yellow looks cute let's do a yellow line And that's that pretty yellow. And then let's do this nice pretty pink. And we can't do anything with the couches. Once it's made out of cloth, we can't dye it. Shucks. But we can do that. Um, I also need to go ahead and get a nanny over here for the chillins. Hmm. What we really, I mean... These guys are already over here. Yars up. Let's get this started. So it's 7 p.m. Julian. Um, I wanna have you since she broke up a happy household. Not that one. There we go. And we're gonna wait till that is um oh no. There we go. Alright, so that is done. We're going to set this to insert embryo. And we're going to go ahead and have you run the first of very many runs for that. And he may use some of our package survival meals and I don't mind. stuff got really icky real fast for you guys that don't know that's an OG removal soundtrack and it's so baller it's baller it's banging these guys we don't have any power running here and I don't dare move it anywhere else not not for a while we've got the plans to put them down here I could go ahead and have them dig that out and get that started first before I get our storage done would also give me an excuse to get the kitchen done as well it's just I'm I've got so much to do I'm kind of leery about digging anything else out but then again it will give more you know 
less populated areas for the infestations to start to. Not that that's a problem now, but it will be in the future. What do you guys think? Go ahead and make use of what we've got or go ahead and dig out the actual uh, bays for that. What do you guys think? I wouldn't mind some feedback on this. I wouldn't mind at all. Angel baby, what are you... <laughs> did you really pick up the psychic shock lance? Yes, you did. Okay. I mean, Angel, if you want to go around shocking people instead of killing them, I mean, it, I guess it matches your, your motif. If we go ahead and get the bays done, we won't have to move all that again. And we can go ahead and set this up as temporary storage while we get it all that done. I don't know. But I have to make a decision because this is my broad idea. We do have a way of getting down there without everybody getting wet, which is what I was most concerned of. We have to get that situated though here to get the storage done. I say we go for it. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get our run and then our 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 pods. Let's go ahead and get that at least mined out today. Um is anybody they already put the baby in? Oh, no, you don't. Uh, somebody. Oh, they've already got it maxed out. That's awesome. All right, let's see if we can't get some bricks hauled. No oh, blur. All right, and then we're going to get uh, Irma. Uh, Irma and Nono broke up. So Nono's going to be our, our, little, our little pissy boy. He's going to be way more pissy. Uh, but I didn't want him hooking up with our housemates anyway. They're not ours. So that should get that started. We need 20 person. We need a whole lot more of those. Which it also might help to get more of those. At least I know this was done correct. And I don't have to worry about anybody actually accidentally dying again. Go girl. What's up buddy? Do you want your paper bag out? What's up, my dude? And then we're like in line for a hurricane, like a legit hurricane. So they're already pre-calling Team A. So Tuesdays and Thursday streams probably won't happen, especially if I'm at work. Um, I won't have any access to internet if we do still have power and such. And to be honest, streaming during a hurricane is a little much. Um, <laughs> All you guys are probably get from me is a lot of gibberish, because or gibberish, because uh, I will be terrified. But good news is that the, where I work at, it's like it survived like a cat five, and they didn't even lose power. So, fingers crossed. But they are definitely go ahead and calling it now, and they're sending out the uh, announcements tomorrow. Well, let's go grab the plans and get this started. I do want to go ahead and set the freezer up, which we should have enough steel. For, we do have enough steel for that. All right. But we need power. There's power under here. Let me see if I can't get them to smooth this little bit out right there. Just enough for us to get power down to the freezer. And then we'll worry about running the power line for all of these. Because we could pull these down and go ahead and clear that out. Move everything in over here temporarily. That's a lot of work for my... I swear. I don't know why my colonists love me, but they do. As of yet, I haven't had anybody decide to haul ass and leave. So, it's not that bad. Poor Julian. Poor Julian's lost four damn mates. Poor guy. Oh, and they're being super fast with that too. Good deal. Yes, the next one is coming right for us. So, um, we're in the Tampa Bay area. Of course, it's the internet. I'm going to tell you guys exactly where I live, even though somebody that has half a brain could obviously find me. I mean, 
I have an online presence, and like I'm sure Spokeno's got all my shit. Excuse me. Between the yawns and the burps today, I'm so sorry. But yeah, um, we're supposed to go get. Um, we're having Mexican tomorrow. I think. I think we're gonna go and actually get us some good tacos for lunchums. Um, me, you, and Gigi. And then we gotta go get bolts for the shutters. We gotta go grab that other TV. Um, and I've gotta grab some like like light food stuff to take with me. I've got my bag done. I got all my clothes put up. You guys should be so damn proud of me. The whole the whole stack on my bed is gone. It's put up. Everything's folded. Everything's hung up. Everything's put away. I wish I'm going to have to promptly go back through and undo everything because I've got to pack. Arg. Um, that's right. I've got my other thing. So we're doing two of those right there and there. And then if I've done that right, we need... We're absolutely using um, marble doors for this, so... Uh, it's going to be a really good temperature lock. We may have a little bit of a bleed from here. But I can always move that up. Um, that should be fine. This right here is going to be our uh, kitchen area. Um, I've got this as an open. Uh, this is going to be like... Um, our cook station so there's enough room for two cook stations and the immediate food that they use everything in the surrounding square is going to be our food storage on the right is going to be the brewery um, and we've got a lot of stuff that we can brew thanks to brewing expanded and on the left is going to be or maybe it's the left for the animals and the right for the brewing it's one of the two uh these two are going to be closed so that way the filth stays inside Matter of fact, let me go ahead and do that and that. Well, this is going to be open, and I may just absolutely open that up and just leave the walls there for decor reasons. Ow, my ear. So let's see what we have. Blur, can you possibly hold that chunk? Sangria is doing good things. Let me make sure that our baby doesn't need no food. See? So Silver's already doing it. I'm so glad that that became top priority. Uh, Tony gets to shoot more accurately for the next couple days. That's great. Core baby. You're still making package survival mills. That's okay. I've got it set to 200 and there's there it's there for a reason. Irma. Clean. Oh no, clean. Julian can't clean that because it's not technically a room but we'll have him clean the oracle it's not shabby we're getting stuff done it's just taking a bit and that's fine so I'll make sure that that's temperature locked that's temperature locked okay uh well we've got this going we're going to hunter lex weapon why hunter lex weapon Rock, did you drop your weapon, baby? He did. Dude. Grab your bang bang. Oh, we do need to check on that. Uh, Tony's got his weapon. Teddy has his weapon. Lily's got her weapon. Rock is equipping his weapon. Blemish. That's an incinerator. I don't think I want you walking around with an incinerator, my dude. As of right now, I think that's the best weapon I've got for you. Blur. Gabby. King has his sword. Lady, you need your Intex staff. No, no. Has his mono sword. Julian is Sangria can't. Okay. We also have to take a look at and see where our the suppression's at a hundred, and it's every six point eight years. So we may have another rebellion. Uh, here in the next year. It says six, but it's really like I've had a rebellion every year. Even though their suppression is at 100%. Oh, why don't you clean that room, Rock? 
There we go. All the babies are doing baby things. Poor Azzy. Arg, I hate that. It's all because I didn't realize that, you know, um, roofs didn't act like, like I thought they did. But that's... Uh, nothing we can do about that now. It's an excellent chair. Where do we need an excellent chair at? Not there. We'll have to redo all that. I don't like the way that's laid out. We'll fix it. No worries. We fix All right, so let's go ahead and set the temperature on these guys. We want it low. Oh, mine. I didn't do it right. All right, so two, zero, and negative two. Yep. And then let's get our power run. Do, 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 do. Oh. All right. And then we are going to put in a big lamp. Uh, probably right here in the center for now, just to light up this area. And then let's go and grab our plans. So let's save. Let's save again. And then we're going to save one more time. All right, let's go grab our plans. Uh, here's our planning dump. We saw this, uh, time, um, stream before last, so... If you guys have any questions about it, just let me know. But since all of this is a very simple, smooth walls, we're going to go ahead and grab this. And it's also our animal run. We just don't worry about temperature. But since what I have now is actually interfering with our storage unit, we need to go ahead and get that moved and done. And this, this over here is more not squares. I'm really happy with that. We'll, we'll, we'll take a better look and yeah, power, 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 everything. Um, but let's go ahead and snag this. I love, I love mo planning. Uh, so we're going to snag from here. And we're going to go a little ways in just so we can line it up. All right, there's that. I'm going to quick game. Load game, Empire, and we're going to go in there and paste it in there real quick. And hopefully that is granite. It is. All right. We'll paste plans, then we got to line it up. That looks right. Perfect. Okay. Well, we're going to wait for them to do their stuff and then we're going to go ahead in here and plan, move everything over, rebuild this section here. Um, because we don't need floors in there. Or we don't need much for floors in there. I don't mind if it's ugly as sin in there. We'll pop some really pretty things in the center. We'll put some uh, art in there and it'll be fine. The only place that is not complete without floors or decor is going to be our growing or our utility zones. Everything else has to have floors, decor, everything. Everything, everything, everything. These rooms are looking a little sparse. Or sparse. So, we're going to fix it. Let's put in... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, we don't have enough jade. Well, that sucks. Maybe a plastic aquarium? An aquarium in there. We don't want the basic ones. Um, but let me see if I can't cycle through. No, it's just the one. Uh, and maybe based on what you make it out of. Let's try a wooden one. And then let's try a uranium one. And that's just for shits and gigs. Uh, furniture. Nope. Uh, decor. Let's do some... 
I don't mind the purple ones being in here. I really like the purple ones. We'll do those and then we'll put some trees. And I am glad that I did grab, there we go. We'll put, put a couple of the trees over here. One there. There. It's not the best, um, but we still gotta get carpets in there, but we don't have the stuff for carpet yet. We may actually do curtains with windows in here, just so that way they can look out and keep an eye on the kiddos. Uh, but for right now, I think, so that's the wood one. Yeah, they're all gonna be the same. That's the uranium one. They're all the same skin. Oh. Work frenzy on King. Hell yeah. So there's the purple ones. And uh, I really want that one to look like. Um, I was gonna choose graphic. I really love the look of those like old time old timey lantern thingies on there. That's great. These guys should be there we go. Perfect. All right, let me remove the plans out of here. Because these are done. These are not started yet, so that's fine. But here are the plans. So it looks like the only the bottom bays that we can do for now, and we can mine that out. Um, this is all granite, so we need that. So we'll go ahead and put in the mining orders now. Um, let's see. Can I do this in a smart way? I'm going to try. No guarantee, but I'm going to try. Provisional laborers. We may take a look at that. Uh, we'll give that a minute. If we have four of our bays up. That takes care of all the four of the, four of the, the lights that I have now. And that's that bo whole bottom row. I don't mind that. We're expanding a whole lot faster than I intended. I didn't intend for us to put this in for a while, but us moving under the mountain was a very smart idea. Um, and just losing tooth hurt like a bitch. Can I get this guy? But I can do this guy. And these, are, I don't mind us starting our animal runs either since we now have cows. So let's get that started. Underbar. All right, let's take a look at that quest. I just... Original laborers. Two colonists, 13 years or older. For 10 honor. That would put king as our count. But that would also give us these guys. And it's only for six days. We're going to go for the anti-grain. Uh, just to make sure if we get any spontaneous met clusters that we can send them. Now, who do we send out? I think... Uh, we send, hmm, maybe King and Lady, let them go and have a little bit of a retreat. Yeah. In the long run, the only thing the King has is stun, and Lady is, like, a lot of the combat commands, but it's only for six days. I think we'll be okay. Um, uh, oh, famous last words all right, so they should they should go ahead and jump in, and it'll auto auto send, I think. There they go. Now I've got to set these for anti grain, but I think they're already set for all shells. Yeah, they're set for all shells, but I've got to get them hauled in. I don't want to accidentally uh, get those and then go kaboom. No big bada boom, splur. After you're done with that, would you mind hauling those, but not until after you're done. Big bada boom, yes. And this is overhead mountain, so I don't have to worry about it, you know, getting bow dunked, I don't think. That, we need to make sure those are closed. They are closed, good for me, I remembered. 
And let's check on the baby. Can we? Yes, we can. Let me just go run that baby some food. When we get back, we'll have us a dance party. I'm tempted to keep everybody inside, but we have animals to tend to. Let me just set everybody to home while everybody's in there. I need to send them. No, let's just put them to house. Housemates, I don't want them out wandering too far. That's P music, and it's amazing. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Let me haul things. Let me set my animals to inside. Ah, there we go. We gotta re expand our zones. Our home is growing. Is it functionable? No. Am I really out overstretching myself? Yes. We haven't even we haven't even finished. This is considered done, but not quite. I want to get more. Oh, that pink and yellow does look really good there. Oh, let's get some more recreation in here, I think. Let's do. Psychic drone, medium male. Uh, let's do a plain leather punching bag. I want that over here with the melee stuff. Uh, let's do. Let's have the music stuff in the other room. Um, modern computer, 10 components, 4 components, arcade machine. I think we have one of those. And a solar flare. Lovely. Thank you, game. Let's get all of this um, harvested. Because I do have a lot of plants in there that are ready to go. And I do not want to lose them. It's about time for us to have a long one. Alright. Everybody has already got their weapons maxed. Ah! <laughs> uh, the... The last anti-green warhead mine I built, the builder decided to test it out after it was done. Oh no. Yeah, those, those are big bada booms. All right, so I'm thinking that it is time that we added a clean sweeper. Can we build a clean sweeper yet? I don't think so. We can, we can build one. Bio starvation. I just had them. Oh, because the power outage. Uh, I don't think a venometric power cell will power those during a. Nope. So we'll just have to wait. I hope it doesn't ruin that baby because that's our last embryo, Sangria. Do I want a clean sweeper? And just flag it here for the moment. I think I do because that's getting gross. And I've got Cora working on that. Do we have the power? I want to say yes. But I'm not sure. Putting everybody on a cleaning run. There we go. All right, we're okay. Uh, Lily, can I get you? She can't do nothing. Okay. Eh. Alright, where is the... There it is. There's the old computer. Let's put that up here in the classroom. But it needs a chair, so we'll put it like that. Um, the TV could also go in there. Where did our TV go? 
Did it die? It did not die. Let's put our TV in here. Probably not there. Where can we put that where it's do the best, most good? Um, maybe I'll make a little TV nook right here. That'll work. Well, let's see what we got for building stuff. Uh, plain leather is probably the best. Let's make another couch. Shuttle arrived. That's 200. We have 457. That's for Canuck. All right, so we'll set load. We'll accept, and then let's have Angel Baby. Can you take? Yes, you can. Shuttle is loaded and can launch when ready. Awesome. Alright, there's our pods. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That guy we're going to put right here. That just help supplement those, uh, um, what are these things? Moisture pumps. There we go. Make sure all of my defenses are up. They are, but we're going to outgrow that quickly. We're already outgrown it, if I want to be absolutely honest. Uh, we don't have to worry about anything but mechs coming out of the water from over here. Um, we have to worry about breachers up here, but then again, this is a really big line. Um, but here, and then here. And I don't ha think I have a lot of security done either. Right, my animals... Yeah, my animals are haulers. All right, starvation. Clear work, baby. You can get you some food. Four. I know I've set two people on that clean job and it's still not done. already been moved and we needed a chair there we go right there now why is that getting so dirty am i missing a tile or is that coming in from where that's not that's probably where it's coming from because that's not floored okay i do want to put Vents in the bedroom lines, but not connected to outside. So we can do that as well. Okay. It's coming together slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. Major progress on there now. Tony, why are you why are you feeling bad? Low second moderate second John. Slept in the cold. My heater's not on? Oh, it's probably that one degree thing. That's ridiculous, okay? If they're upset because of a one degree di temperature difference, that's not my fault. There's only so much I can do, but no no. Why don't you come and have you a spot of tea? And a spot of the smoke of leaf, and we'll send Tony to do the same thing. I 
and we are starting to see some base lag. Oh, poor Tony. Um, and Lady's not here to break that, but that's okay. It's just a hide-in room. Cow one has given birth in We got the baby cow. Are you a boy or girl? It's a boy. That's okay. And a lot of this power consumption will be mitigated because if these rooms are not in use, because there's only one good hospital bed in this room, and all of the med all of the medicine here. Um, so one good hospital bed and, and a couple of the other ones, and these are actually supposed to be the hospital rooms, the individual ones. They're close enough for everybody to go grab and come back without it being like a dire emergency. You get hauled, sir. Get hold. Oh no. Oh, that's fine. Second, like Jonah's ending, so they, their mood should come up pretty quick. Now I got Teddy down here. Can we reinstall this bad boy? Uh, I'll only go so far, won't it? Well. Hmm. Hmm. We should have the wood. We don't have a lot of wood, though. Well, let's fix at least a little bit of that, shall we? Get my planters something to do. Just a, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit of wood. And another pregnant cow. That's so cute. I'm still debating on whether or not I want a clean sweeper. Leanne, can you clean that room and then clean that? Gotta find out where all that is coming from. It's gotta be from this room here. Okie dokie. Make sure somebody's feeding the baby. Yep. Baby's getting food now. One, two, and one. will be I think we're gonna do concrete floors in here it's not gonna do a damn thing for the beauty but we can go ahead and start smoothing the walls though uh, smooth surface where's the one for the walls I know there's one just for walls I found the one for smooth the floors smooth terrain I saw it somewhere. Maybe it was the one for the walls. So let's do the smooth surface. I at least want them to have nice smooth walls. Sorry for dong with the mic again, guys. I don't mean to do that when I do it. Oh, do you remember world sound check for the win? mind out hmm. I wonder if I put a zone in here and mark it as critical for these bricks will they stack and then I can haul the whole stack let's 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 do some deduction fucking pile 
right, storage. Clear all. We gotta go down to chunka 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 chunks. Uh, put this to granite chunks. Put that to critical. And then if we do a haul urgently, will they stack it there? I think they will. Let's see. Yara, I don't like that I say you're not idle. There. That should make you idle. I'm pretty sure I've got their... Yeah. They do. Okay. Now we in business. Um, haul, haul. All right, now we're going to have her consolidate. Perfect. Now we're going to delete that zone. Uh, haul urgently. We're going to have her. Awesome. They can do that. Okay. Ooh. Yay. I did a thing. I did a thing. I did a thing. I did a thing. So let's go ahead and start moving some of this down there because that's going to be a hassle of a job we're going to unlink the settings mad ibix though where why why mad oh that's fine you're you're out you're outside of my periphery honey you gotta you gotta come through our traps i don't mind you doing that and then we're going to unlink perfect And then let's see what we're going to do. We want the first two in here. We want one for meat and one for veg. All right, those two are going to go in there. The rest of them, I don't want my people going too far. So I think we're going to line them up along the wall. Uh. I think right now those two are okay. Hopefully if we do this right, uh, that'll be ready for Lady by the time she comes back. Blemish is working on that. No, no, would you mind working on the stone cutter table, please? And then Rock, I'm going to have you actually work on that too. You guys can work on that too, yeah. Alright, and it does look like we're about ready for another uh, present to Poconoke. Yeah. I don't like messing with Poconoke. It's also a good uh, way to get rid of our waste packs for the moment. I really do want an atomizer, but that's going to be way in the future. You guys are up there doing that one? Okay. You do you, boo-boo. And we are starting to see a little bit of game lag. Um, so that, that more than anything scares me about the longevity of this we're going to make it. We're going to make it. If I've got to shut off sections at a time when they're not in use. And I may be doing that anyway. Because like when these are actually medical rooms. I'll have the lights turned off in here until something happens. And we'll have housemates inside to go flip those switches once stuff gets, gets a little wonky. Alright. Does the baby need some food? Rock is resting. No, no, he's eating and then resting. Silver, would you mind? Nope. Oh, they're keeping her topped off. That's great. And we're getting bricks done. That should be enough bricks to do that. That's 20 per square. And we have how many squares? 37. Maybe not. That's 600. So we do need a little bit more. Okie doke. 
we get 20 per brick. Oh, we need some more. Good news, my guys are working on it. Those are marble chunks. That is, we gotta figure out what kind of floors to put in here. Hmm. Because I would like to start moving everybody into their own personalized bedrooms. Which will be like their favorite color. A visitor? Zotocom came to visit. One guy. Hi, Zoto. We need to send them a present. We've almost got 10,000 units of food. So we can actually kind of get an idea about where we actually want to put our things. I don't mind it all being rice at the moment. I really, really don't. Um, no, no, are you still... Dude, you come and have you a little bit of a break. Tony's getting it. Tony's all on it. Sangria needs her death rest. Ah, I've got her down here. That's right. Uh, Sangria, go ahead and start your death rest. And we also need to check on our hemogen levels as well. Since we don't have a permanent donor, um, we got to make sure that's done. Teddy's little teddy bear. So that's getting done. I'm super stoked. Oh, you guys keep popping out the babies. No calf. And you're having boys. Um, let's go ahead and get that muffalo out of there. Go ahead and do that. And I don't mind them having another couple of rounds. Oh, we did get a katsumi. All right. Did Pokemon the Zotacom ever make it? Um, yeah, he's right there. Oh, uh, let's have Tony's teaching a lesson. Uh, and Demon's reading. Gabby, what you doing? Gabby's sewing stuff. Blur's probably smoothing. Who do we have close? Lily's close. Lily, want you go trade with Zotoco Zotocom? Hey, Tokyo! I saw your base. It's amazing. Thank you for sharing the link. Well, let's get a couple of things of coffee. Um, oh, we can get rid of a lot of this stuff, I think. Wonderful. The grenades. Hundred and fifty. One forty three. Let's do that and then we'll call it good. We'll take which what he's got. You should make a base like that and then my sister will make a, a make one of the most epic bases that you've ever seen in your life and then she'll set it on fire when she's done she'll burn it to the ground it's, it's like a rite of passage with her when she's when she's lost interest in her colony she burns it dude my brother deletes his old bases oh it kills me i went to one day i was like hey would you mind pulling up this base that you had the one that you have, what, the really extensive library? My dudes. He deletes them. 
they're gone forever. And I'm sitting there like, no, don't, please don't do that again. Because uh, GK's bases are like a masterwork of efficiency. Um, but I, I really like, I really like your layout, Tokyo. That was like really, you can, feel free to post it back in chat so everybody else can ha go have a gander at it. I know Hellraiser was in, but I don't think GK and our other mystery guests was in to, to take a look and see exactly um, how good of a base that was. I was really impressed. Um, we're going to do veg only. Do rice. I want to set this one to a critical. We're going to do storage. Clear all. We're going to do, 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 do meat. But ibex. But no ibex meat. I want to set that to critical. Four colonists idle. That's correct. Need research project. We're not working on our research right now at the moment. Irma, you can't. They are really topping that off. All right, so we're out of bricks again. Let's do our brick run trick. Zone, 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 zone. And storage and clear all and critical. And then we're going to go do, 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 granite chunks. And we're going to do a uh, all urgently. Come on, clicky click. And then there's some more down here, I think. That should be enough. And they'll stack them all right there. Thank goodness. Dude. No! GK in his chat. No! My, oh no, by everything. He deleted his worlds again. No! And so that's really a funny story about how my family all plays RimWorld. When the game when the game launched, I kept an eye on it because I love I love like sim games. All right, I didn't think I would like it. I'm not really good at combat, as we all <laughs> have noticed. I'm not really good at combat, but I thought, hey, I'll give it a try. I caught it. Uh, beta 18 is when I started playing. Uh, so, psychic suppression. Oh, we're definitely going to take a look at that, but not right yet. I, I have a thought. Come on, thought. Hold thought. So I got it. I got it on like a Monday or Tuesday night, and I played the damn game for 24 hours straight. I called in to work, and I don't call in unless I'm like dying. I called in because I could not tear myself away. Um, Pete had just began his ice sheet run. Um, but I think Pete Complete was the, one of the only ones that I, I had watched. Um, even, even half-assed prior to, to actually playing the game for myself. So I got it. And I played the tutorial. Yeah, dude, we got some hours, bro. So I played the, the tutorial and I was like, you know who needs this? Do you, do you know who really needs to play this with me? And at, at the time, you know, it was supposed to go multiplayer and all that stuff that never happened, but that's another story. So I, I bought it and I sent it to my bro on Steam. I'm like, B but dude, you got to play this. So um, we got on, uh, I, I, I don't even know if our Discord was up at the time. Either I, either I Discorded him or I called and then we, I walked him through the tutorial and I'm like, here you go, have fun. And then I got it for my sister like that next week that I got paid. Dude, we all play. And it is the best thing on the face of the planet. All right, that, all my wall orders are done. So we're gonna do. All right, that might be enough to finish that. Let's see. Yeah. No, I didn't know about drafting, man. 
when when I when I when I first was like when I was learning it, there's so much I didn't know. So like I played through the tutorial, and then that was the base where I had the guy that was obsessed with pigs. Like every piece of artwork he had was essential a pig this and essential pig that. It was it was and that's the one that I made the base out of completely out of wood, and my pyromaniac got pissy, and just lit it all on fire, and I was in love. I was in love. Okay. Um, oh, Cherub is learning a lesson on crafting from Tony. That's not a bad person to learn from either. So, but yeah, I need to make that. That is just set to rise. Okay. So I'm sitting there and it's just, I, I had to share it with my family. And I did. And we have been fans ever since. I'm not going to say diehard fans because I don't I don't think we would go above and beyond. I don't know. GK's like sitting almost at 8k hours. So yeah, we're diehard fans. Um, you know, let me check my hours real quick. Um, everybody's fine up here. Let me see if I can't get into my Steam. Library. RimWorld is running. I've got 3,702 hours in there. I mean, shit. I mean, I'm not. I'm not doing that shabby either. Yeah, I. I know. I know about the wooden shelves. Uh, they're going to. I've only got the two in the kitchen. They're going to be updated. All right, where? Okay. Um. You know what? I think I've got enough people to handle this. Let's draft everybody. Put everybody up here and let's see what's where it's gonna be at. Alright, so it is right down there. That's fine. Uh let's see how big it is. Not too shabby. And we have um uh let's put no no in front. Uh these guys behind. Right, these guys behind them. Make sure it's not but three deep. Oh, my animals and my kids. Uh, do animals. Uh, where is my save the children? Ah. Okay, we're going to change that. We're going to save the children. And we'll put that all in there. And we got to clean, clean that up. Hold on. Uh, animals. Chillins. All right, that should stop them from doing that. Now, that's good, but we didn't get their attention. So let's pull Nono down. Let's pull these guys. No, there. Uh, these three here. These guys. here. Alright, so that should get their attention. I'm going to miss this mod later. Alright, so we're going to put a hunt order on that dude. And then we're going to send everybody in. Where are the... There. Alright. Good job. Good job, me. Uh, do, do, do. So, Nicodemus stays in the house. Um, do, 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 do. Cat stays in the house. And these guys are sitting Holland's own. 
Yes. That should be right. Let me put the kids back to you. Little, nope. They're on, uh, they're in the house. Alright. Not bad. Get out of there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, these are, these are going to be remade out of stone just as soon as I have enough to do stuff with. Um, let me suspend the marble or put the granite on top. Bills, granite's on top. Uh, and everybody's taking a nap, so I'm not going to interrupt their nap. Naps are sacred, and we're not on a timer for that, so that's fine. Thank you, Eki. Espresso Romana. We'll go ahead and put that in there. That's a pretty little tune. That's also P music. Um, these, I just realized that all of these are made out of wood. So I've got to uh, copy setting. And then I've got to build these. I think we're going to do steel for these. But not just yet. I've got to get this all. This has got to be smoothed out. And those got to be moved. That's fine. Demon, what are you drawing? A hopscotch board? I do like the bamboo in here, though. Ah, an Avenger symbol. I do wish the toy boxes were more interactive. Um, I do have some more rack items. Um, but I'm not ready to put a lot of this down quite yet. But I did want some of the musical stuff for the kids to play with. Um... I won't get everybody, but I'll get most of them. Uh, let's, I don't mind that being there like that. Let's see, what else? Um, looks good. I thought I had a Maramba somewhere. I do. Let's put a Maramba in here. Maramba, Maramba. Did I put my kids back to... I did. They're all, they're all in the housemates. That's fine. But all in all, I mean, it's coming together beautifully. And if we just have to play on a lower difficulty, we'll just have to play on a lower difficulty. It's not... It's a hundred year challenge. It's not, you know, survive impossible odds challenge. It's a hundred year challenge. So if I have to lower stuff down to make it more comfortable for me to me to achieve my goal... We'll do that. Right now we're sitting on, I've got it expanded to 20 years until we get max difficulty. So that bought us eight years right there. Well, technically seven, because we're almost at, at year 13. Um, and then if I have to, I'll just keep backing it down if it gets too overwhelming. Because this isn't a challenge run where it's, you know, like to defeat every quest. Oh, quest. Speaking of quests, we have a quest. Uh, psychic Suppression. Reduce the consciousness, resurrect your mech serum. But we don't, we could bring Carter back, but Yulian and Sangria, they've already broken up a relationship. I'm not going to do that. I mean, though Carter was a fantastic, fantastic miner. We're going to keep that in case something else happens. I don't mind the bionic leg either. And then all my all my girly pops will be tired for the next five days. I don't mind that. And it's from Zotacom. 
We love Zodacom. Zodacoms are our friends. And there's a second suppression. And there are pods. Oh, baby. Haul urgently. <gasps> I don't have anywhere to store it. Bullshizer. Um... I do now. Ha! We're also sitting on 60 Luciferium. So that's a thing. I gotta get more Lucy. So my preferred difficulty um, is I've never done a not a save scum run. So I've never had to worry about difficulty before. I could just put it on... Uh, Randy Random and just re-roll it when I didn't like it. But a part of the rules for this colony is that I can't save scum. It's like rule number one. I can't save scum. And oh boy. That rule has killed me. So before... <laughs> this is my first actual no save scum run ever. I've stream run more before, but I save scum. I didn't realize how much of um, the enjoyment I was taking out a lot of... Uh, for Especially for my viewer side of it. Uh, so I was just playing to play. So when I did my own runs, um, I would just save scum what I didn't like. So I could have it on max difficulty and just keep rerolling quests until I got the one that I liked. Um, on this run right here, I had it on Phoebe Chillax on Adventure Story. And it still got too hard. <laughs> so now we have it like to... I think it's 30 and 50% on the two sliders, one for the adaptive and the other one is for the max difficulty. And then we have it out for 20 years. So it, if you guys are looking for like a, a fighting challenge, this isn't the stream. <laughs> I am not the streamer for that. You guys want to go see something that's epic? Go watch Radamont. Go watch Quill 18. Go watch Hardware Despair. Go watch... Um, I said peak complete, didn't I? Yes. So, eh, go watch anybody else for the challenge aspect. This is just a a, a little softy. I want I want to make a hundred year colony. So yeah. If it's not your jam, I completely understand. It's not going to be everybody's jam. That's okay. I am going to sell the baby baby bowls. give us book money uh what else what else what else what else what else what else we are fantastic on food uh kim fuel it doesn't register we're not near neuramine neutramine yeah so this is on reload anytime and i've never played commitment mode i so it's always been like i just play it for fun uh, but this one I wanted to give myself a personal challenge. No saves coming. And I have so, dude, when I lost my mains, I, I, I was so pissed. And it was because I didn't know how to, how to do actual combat. You know, I'm just used to, that's why dev mode is disabled on my rim games. Because if I have dev mode enabled, I just cheat my way through a game. It's not, it's not, it doesn't get fun from there. So that's disabled. I'll have to enable it if something funky goes on with my save. But as of right now, it's disabled. But yeah, this is more of a, you know, I want to make it to year 100 with my people, you know, sane and happy and, you know, not, not dead in a burning fire. <laughs> so, yeah. And I, I just, I just wanted to try that, try it. I haven't seen any, I've seen the 100 days, the 200 days. VG, I almost forgot. If you guys want to see some epic fucking runs, VG, mwah, my VG boy. That's why our, our silver is named Silver. It's after, after his mains. Oh, dude, I was so pissed. You, it's episode 19. If you guys want to go back, I've got everything lined up. Episode 19 is where I lost my mains. And then uh, episode 21 is where I lost my second batch going after my staff. And then episode 27 or 28 is where I lost Tooth. And we picked Poconoke to be 
the people that we pick on. And all of them, you could just... And the one where Tooth died, my sister comes rushing into my room, laughing her ass off, saying, It's on fire! It's all on fire! And I'm like, yeah, I fucking know! And so, yeah. <laughs> it's been a very fun run so far. Aggravating, irritating, stress-inducing, but fun. <laughs> but fun. Uh, do, 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 let me get back to... I need some more books. I'm going to grab all those books, actually. Uh, this one does IEDs. This one does recreation game. This one does intellectual and shooting. And this one does crafting. So that's great. We have our bionic eyes, so we can check out our eyes. And we got a leg. I think Lady needs a leg. We'll have to see when she gets back. Oh, let's unload all of this that's over under at 50. And we got quite a bit, I'm sure. It's been a while since we had a good inventory clean out. That's coming. Um, since our d, &D uh, game is on hiatus. Yes. Yes, I have, but I have a problem with Adam versus everything, and I'll tell you in just a hot minute. Let me let me get my my thinking cap on. Adam versus everything has a lot of fantastic challenges. Um, he's done a couple of the Radaband, like they're really hard. Oh, Newbert too! I can't believe I forgot about Newbert. Um, but he has a lot of fantastic challenges. All right, so I'm sitting there and I'm listening to him on Twitch, right? And I'm going about my day, and then I had to stop and go back and re-listen to the feed um, because he said he didn't like RimWorld. The only reason why he was playing RimWorld is because it earned him money. So I'm like, but you don't actually like the game? And he said he really didn't like the game. He was just doing it for views. Which, I mean, I, I understand everybody's got to make money. I'm, I'm not making any money, okay? None of my shit is monetized. I don't think I'll ever monetize it because this is a fun outlet for me. It's for me to have fun. If this becomes a second job, then it's not fun anymore. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm sitting here, you know, talking big. I got 43 followers on Twitch. I think I'm hot shit. I, I love it. Thank you for everybody that's following me. I love you. All of you. But I'm, I'm not monetized. Um, and that's because... I, it's, it's just, if it comes monetized, it becomes a job. And I don't want this to be a job. I'm going to have fun. You know, if money comes later, great. That's a blessing. But for right now, I'm, I'm happy just playing in my little room, having my little fun with my little pawns, and freaking the fuck out as, as I kill them. But Adam versus everything, once he said that he didn't like the game and he only plays it for views... And it's it, it kind of messes with how I see the dude, you know. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing because people got to make money. I understand that I really do. But I mean, if you genuinely don't like the game, then I mean, it it kind of colors everything that he does and says, you know. And since I positively love this game, I mean, it it it, it hit me it hit me the wrong way. And I don't, I don't know that I can, you know, look at him the same again because um, he's not, he's not doing it, he's not doing it because he likes to play RimWorld. He's doing it because it's what makes his channel the most money. And I watch content creators like um, B Dubs and Generic B and. Um, a lot of the people, uh, Good Times with Scar. A lot of people I've been watching since like two. 2012 you know who have you know i've watched pete complete pete complete earned his phd while playing through his um ice sheet run i mean he had three bouts of covid while he was doing the steakhouse it's just it hit me wrong and i can't see him the same way as i did before So that's, that's my take on Adam versus everything. He's a good guy. He's doing what he has to do to survive. I don't blame him for that, but I want to watch, 
I want to watch a content creator who's just as crazy about their pawns as I am. And now that I know that it's it's not because he really likes his pawns, it's because it, they make him money. They, eh, Please tell me that that makes sense to somebody else other than me. And if it doesn't, it's fine. But in my head, it makes sense. But then again, you know, I also live in my head. So, of course, everything to me in my head makes sense. No, but I watched, like, you know, I, I used to watch him. He'd be on my stream rotation. It's just after that, um, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it in any way other than what I already have. Is that it just kind of messed with me. It, uh, it turned something into what I thought somebody was doing for, you know, the love of the game. Like a lot of the other content creators that I watch. And for him just to say that, no, that's not it. It's just because this is what makes me the most money. I, I don't know. I sound like a total fucking hypocrite when I say that. And I don't mean to. <laughs> I just I can't I can't view him the same way as I as I did when I thought he was having just as much fun playing the game as I was. So I'm glad it makes sense to you guys. But yeah. I get it. I wish him the best. If I had money to throw at him, I would support him because I've watched his content. I en I enjoy his his runs before I'll go back to the runs where I know it was before he said what he said. And I can watch those okay. But everything. A healthy vat birth. Yes. We has the babies. Alright. So where do I have my cribs? I have my cribs in here. Is it too cold in there? I may need to get a temperature thingy in there. Hold on. Hold on. We got Sangria's fourth live. Uh, fourth birth. So what do we have? What do we have? Uh, Nimida baby. So we got another dude. Um, he's our imp. So we've got uh, angel and cherub, demon and imp. Yar is Yulian and Carter's son. So our our empire is growing. Our empire is growing, and I can't wait. So that's Yulian's baby. So we're absolutely gonna have him take care of them first and then we're going to turn off the baby maker 9000 because that is a shit ton of power give you for instance right pete complete before i found him through rim world he was playing um he likes to go through games and completely complete them i am a completionist nutter if this game had achievements, oh, I'd be done. There is a mod that gives achievements, but the game itself doesn't have achievements. All right? I'm an achievement hunter. It's what I like to do. It gives me a goal. Have I ever 100% completed a game? I've completed two, three, three games to 100%. Final Fantasy VII on their original PlayStation. It took years and a lot of game facts. Zelda Ocarina of Time, I completed it 100% on the Nintendo 64. And there's one more. Oh, my brain just went blank. Final Fantasy X 2. I never did finish playing X. I had a, a shit of a, a thing that I was in and... My progress got deleted. But Final Fantasy X 2, I 100% completed it. Because I wanted to see Titus and Yuna happy, damn it. I had to see their happy ending. Uh, so those are the three games I've only ever 100% completed. Now, the list of games that I'm working on to 100% complete. What? Minecraft. They keep adding shit. Okay? I got it to 99.8 because I needed like another potion. And then the 1.14 update came out. And it ruined my track, so I, I'm working on it. Stardew Valley. Uh, I'm missing, like, maybe a handful of achievements. Um, I was really tracking for Guild Wars 2 to do all their achievements uh, before I couldn't play it anymore. Um, oh, I got Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I don't think I'll ever be able to 100% all the achievements in there. But 
it's a good thing for me to work on. I like achievements. Dude. Like, um, do you remember when video games had guides? Like, physical guides? It'd be like, you'd get the game and it'd be like 70 bucks for the guide. So, of course, we get the game and then I would get the guide. Because I love guides. Um, I've got my guidebook. I had to reorder it for the original Guild Wars 1. Um, but I got the guidebook for that, the guidebook for Final Fantasy X and X2, and the and the guidebook for uh, Oblivion and Skyrim. Those are also two games I'm working on 100% achievements for. I was so close to, to Skyrim, and then the fire got my system. Uh, but yeah, Ocarina of Time was fucking amazing, man. It was the first 3D Zelda? Are you kidding me? It was great! The music was fantastic. You could actually run around with Link. You could dodge and weave and, you know. And then you had the guidebooks that would give you the map and the layout. And then it would tell you the secrets. And then everybody got fucking stuck in the water castle. It didn't matter how many guys you had. I had I had a guide and a game facts guide. And it still took a lot of fucking effort to be able to get through it the first time. But once you get through it that first time, it's like, yeah, you're my bitch now. Um, collecting all the things. Oh, dude, to get 100%, you had to use the slingshot, right? You had to use the slingshot, slingshot in Kuroki Village to get the bigger, um, to get the bigger slingshot bad, right? So the first one you get with it were for the Bomba Chews, where you had to get the, do the Bomba Chews to, like, the maximum, uh, number. You couldn't miss any. It all had to be things. Uh, you had the one where you hit the chicken and then you hit the big chicken. So you got that and you got the bigger Bomba Bag. No, oh, the water temple was a bitch. Uh, but with the slingshot, I practiced for months. Months before I got it. And I meant I was going to do it myself. Um, the person that I was seeing at the time was very good at video games. He offered and I said no because I wanted to do it myself. It took me months, months to get a perfect score on that. Because you had, not only did you have to do it with the slingshot, you had to do it with the bow and arrow too to get the bigger bags. Then you had to collect all the scatulas. Do it. And you had to go like back and forth, back and forth in time. Oh, it was so good. And then Majora's Mask came out and fucked everything up. I was like, ah, no. No. I played it. I didn't 100% complete it because uh, like there was like the running dude, the bunny guy. That dude was pain in the ass. But absolutely, fucking lutely I loved that game. And like, by the time, by the time that you get to Ganon, at the end, uh, because it wasn't like Final Fantasy X 2 where you had to go through and beat it one time to get like certain points you needed for completion. Um, you would get, you would work on them as you go, and then I just wouldn't progress until after I get, like, I was in Kuroki Village uh, after I got the first slingshot on that tournament, like, for months. And then, yeah, I was out hunting pose and doing the, all the things, so, by the time I got to Ganon, man, I had all this shit. I had, like, max hearts with the extra armor around it. I mean, I had, I had the, the sun and moon shield. I had the upgraded uh, master sword. I had all of my bombs. I had all, all of my um, deco seed deco seed bags and the deco sticks. I I just I had it all. I had it all. So the boss, by the time that you get there and you got all that done, the boss was like a, a walk in the park. I loved it though because they did like the boar with the tusks and the fire and the temple. That you had to escape the temple at the end, dude. It's just it's just an amazing game. Makes me wish I had a D uh, Nintendo. Uh, 64. You can replay it on the DS, but it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same as having that funky controller in your hands. Just going, dun, 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 dun. Dude. Uh, if you get a chance to, uh, there's a thing called Link Remix on YouTube. And it has all of the songs remixed in long form. The remix, like the lo-fi remix of the Zelda songs are fucking fire. They're fire. It's great. I, I, I listen to a lot of OSTs. My favorites right now, hands down, is Vintage Story, P Music, and, um... What was the one that I listened to the other day? I, I listen to so many. 
Um, I think it was a lo-fi mix of like Resident Evil soundtracks because it's getting spooky season. Uh, so you Resident Evil OST lo-fi. Dude, that's just spooky shit. And it's great. It's really good. Lo-fi lo mixes are awesome. That, I think, is the... Nope. We need decor and... Oh, I've got some more compact machinery. And we can start smoothing some of this out. Did we get the floors done? <gasps> we did. Okay. It's 4 p.m. Let's go ahead and get that done. And we're going to have our very first count test. I think. She may have one more level to go. But we're going to get that started. We've been waiting on this for a bit. It should be, I should be able to pop that and then I think we have one more level because we need a piano. I think we have one more level to go. It's Baroness and then Countess, I think. But, uh... Eee! All right, lady. Let's begin your bestowing ceremony. I'm gonna make sure they put the baby up and the heater's on. Good. I did that right. Here we go. We're looking for good. I'll ex happily accept a grandiose. We'll go for good. And I get so happy talking about the things that I enjoy. It's just, it, it, and this is such a great way to share it. I thought about maybe doing long form videos, but that entails a lot of editing. And to be honest with you guys, I don't have the energy for that. That was an honorable. So lady is now, we'll take a look. Social. Or is it bio? Uh, Baroness. So we've only got one more. Uh, we need 18 honor. So she's got one more level. Nice. What'd you get? Invisibility at level 5. That's... Yes, you can cast that on other people. That's a good one. And it'll probably come in really damn handy. Let's see what your needs are going to be at now. Supreme expectations. Sad youngsters. Who's sad? Which one of my babies is sad? Uh, squeeze you? Alright, so we're going to set this. We're going to link them. Storage, and we're going to add baby food. All right, and then we're going to set this one. We're going to do bills. We're going to do, 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 do make baby food times four. Do until you have X. We're going to have one hundo. Take the best stockpile clothes, and then we're going to make sure that this is only made out of berries and ibex meat. Okay, so you can't make baby food out of out of anything but so let's make sure that that's off of this one um delete that one and then we're going to make sure baby food is out of here sorry guys i gotta do a little bit of a little bit of tweak in here all right so baby food's already not selected in there so let's give this a haul urgently All right, and then I think we're gonna move Cord down here as a nanny, but we don't have a nanny room ready yet, but we will. Eek. I love the 64. Donkey Kong Country. Um, I was actually talking about this the other day. 
That is one of the other games that has literally made me want to absolutely chunk a controller. I'm not a controller chunker. I'll take a breath, I'll walk away, but I'm not a controller chunker, right? So I, I, I played all the way through it. Um, finally got to the final boss and this dude's got like, you're on the ship and it's got the cannons that rain now. It took me weeks to beat that thing. Weeks. Weeks. We got a, we got another little present for Poconoak since all of my people are back and our security is up. Probably need to go and haul that in, but we'll, we'll give it a minute. Speaking of good music, yes. So the aqua theme, uh, the aquatic theme for Donkey Kong Country is one of my favorite soundtracks ever. I love it so much. And they, of course, they've got a lo-fi version of it that's just absolutely amazeballs. So I, I adore it so much. Um, do I dare mine that out just a smidge? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. But we're only going to do one. And then we'll open that up and get the seal out of it. The mine cards were amazing. The whole game, the whole game was freaking amazing, man. The whole game was just absolute, absolute wonderful. And I usually don't like um, uh, platformers, but that one was just amazing. Come on, Teddy, move your rumpus, my dude. How far in does that go? It goes in a ways. Hey, Blur. Blur's doing good things. I like a Blur. Uh, can we get a haul job on those? I don't want them to deteriorate and they're really good. I have a love-hate with emulators. I want to play the original Rune Factories again. I've got Rune Factory 3 for the DS in here in my room somewhere. I'm going to find it. sure that these are getting done like with a quickness Tony is building that out so that should take but a second and I don't think that will be a trap if I put that there no it shouldn't trap anybody I've been known to trap my colonists uh -huh. don't ask uh, let's absolutely get a mine that may be a little bit close to, too close to the edge. Let's take a look. Um, I think we're going to sacrifice those last two pieces. That's fine, because I don't think I can build walls in there. Super Metroid? No. But I did see a pro play, and that was a really good game. Like, I, uh, early console games, of course, everybody played Mario Brothers. That's practically the only thing you get your hands on. But when the Sega came out, that's when I started, um, to play a couple of games. So, Teddy, I'm gonna have you find that out, so that way you don't get stuck. Um, but there was a game called Shining Force 2. Uh, that was just amazing. It was like one of the very first like turn based RPGs that I played. Um, but I didn't get to finish it because it was at my friend's house. And I just, I didn't get to finish it. It made me very sad. Very sad panda for me. And there's a, there's a cheat code for that game too. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. Goes there. I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm, uh. Not trapping my peoples. I've been known to do that a time or two. Yeah, let's haul those urgently as well. Awesome. Let's piss off a of oak.
up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, select, start. Bam! Still got it. And yes, I did the thing with my fingers. Uh, I don't know if that's going to piss off Poconoke or somebody else, but I don't mind. Ah ha 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 ha. Alright, Poconoke, get bent. Permit choice ready. We're going to... Um... I'm tempted about the we'll leave that open for now i have plans for that but we have to have honor to transfer all that over so we're going to give it a minute uh let's get the smoothing done here and then we can start transferring everything over soon i hope we'll go ahead and open this up that way we have an in and an out Tony, what you working on? You're practicing your martial arts, huh? And it's 12 o'clock. Our people are back. Ladies had a thing. Let's let's have us a little party. It's been a while since we had a party. And once he cleans that, that should be after midnight, and we'll get everybody in and we'll have us a party. Good blur. You got this, buddy. Go you. Alright. Um, Julian, would you mind doing the honors? Let's have us a dance this festival. <laughs> Look at blur. <laughs> he just moonwalked. Contra was another one that me and my sisters played. We got like, we would constantly get it like up and up and up levels. Um, we finally got, I remember the first time we finally got to the big badger and we were just so excited. It's an unforgettable. <laughs> uh, so that's a plus 16. And Sangria, no, no, gotten into a fight. Oh my goodness. Put these off again. I swear. There's another TV in here. Um, if we can put that probably in here. It's not optimal place for it. But for right now, that'll help at least the first couple of people. If we have a natural birth before everything else goes to haywire and gone. Uh, we had another pairing last time. I'm trying to remember who hooked up with who. I think it was Teddy and Lily. Uh, yeah, and their opinions aren't great. Not the greatest. Alright, so Contra for the consoles was excellent. Contra for the handhelds was shit. They had like a, a Contra reboot that I was very excited about. I just got my DS and I was super excited about it because I loved Contra as a kid. When you went back and played it, it wasn't, it's not, the whole nos, doubt, nos, I can't even pronounce that word, nostalgia about the games. If we were to actually go back and try to play it um, as, as older, like that's the whole reason why I haven't played the Final Fantasy VII remake. Because as somebody who did actually 100% Final Fantasy 7 in the original, I'm scared to. I, I'm scared to. They already started fucking with my, my, my timeline when Cerberus came out. Final Fantasy 7 Cerberus. Um, so I, I, I haven't even been able to like watch the streams of it yet. I'm trying to wait till it's done, but that's one of those things that I don't think I don't think they'll ever finish it. I think they're going to drag us, drag it out, uh, and drag it for as long as they can to get as much money out of the um, LP as they can. I really do, and that sucks. Because Final Fantasy was one of my very favorite. Tony, I actually want you to come this way.
I want that opened up where I don't I can do that and don't have to worry about my people dying. You're almost done. Almost done, buddy. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna turn the brightness up on our planning just so I can see it a little bit easier. So watch your eyeballs. There we go. So that needs to go there. Needs to go there. In there. Okay. And then we'll fill all this in later. Man, my people are fast. Alright, let me put that back down to not burning your eyes bright. Sorry about that, everybody. There we go. Alright, smoothing stuff. I have a job to do and I'm not doing it. Come on, Sia. Get it together, chick. You'll have stuff ta da today. Um, some of the other older games that are just, you know, absolute fire back in the day that I don't think would have translated so good. Um, believe it or not, the original Mortal Kombat had like this. All right. So it was basically like if you grew up in, in that whole area where all of that was new, I mean, you had the people that said it was of the devil. So you had a whole camp of people thinking that the video games were going to be horrible and then you had a lot of them that said that it wasn't good for girls to play video games because it would warp our perception of you know what was godly that was literally a whole thing said to my face yeah so going back and actually replaying some of that stuff i don't think it's going to live up to our memories of it but that's okay because we were there when it was like first done. I mean, we were we were there like ground level for a lot of this stuff. So um, I'm ecstatic about the way things have progressed now. Like I could not have imagined younger me could not have imagined something like, um, what's a good one? The the newer Resident Evil ones, where like the voice acting is so fluid. Like I like I like to have lost my shit when Final Fantasy X came out and it was voice acted. Like I was like, oh my god, they got voice actors? Are you are you kidding me? It was like, oh I don't have to read everything? Their voices? I was so stoked. I still am. To to me, Final Fantasy X was like one of the better games. Um I've actually got it. Uh and I'm planning on, you know, one hundred percenting that one too, but uh, but like some of the newer, like the, the last Resident Evil where Ethan, uh, where Rose, Rose comes back and she tries to figure out who she is and stuff. That level of cinematic gameplay, if I had went back and told, you know, five-year-old me that that's, that's what I had to look forward to, I would have laughed myself silly even at five years old because that, it, it seems like out of the realm of possibility. I can't wait. There's a breakup. Let's see who it's with. Silver and Core broke it off. That's fine. But I do want to move their rooms then. Let's put that. Let's put them and Irma together. Uh, colonist. Um, let's put. Hmm. I've changed my mind. I don't want to give him a really good bedroom, though. That won't work. I'll have to keep... Uh, let's set core... Here. Let's set silver here. And then let's set... Irma there. There we go. Hey, Azza! Azzy! 
Azzy, I'm so sorry. I killed Azzy. I, I didn't mean to. He was out here doing good things for the colony. He was digging all this out. And I thought that I had my everything done right. I didn't. I did not. So, um, he got smushed. And there's no possibility of bringing him back. Because he got literally smushed. But hi. Welcome to the stream. Eh. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry about that. I, I, in my in my defense, I didn't realize that uh, uh, these things here. Hold on, uh, the columns don't work unless there's a roof. I thought the columns would automatically hold up roofs. Uh, if there's no roof attached to it, they can't. So yeah, sorry. I tried. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't send him off to be slaughtered or anything. It just, yeah. I di I didn't know that until it was an th actual thing. So, when you're building columns, just make sure that there is a piece of air it's attached to a roof. Even if there's like, if it's not attached to anything, it will fall and crush your people to death. All right, so that is almost done. Uh, we'll get this smoothed out. Uh, we'll get the rest of this done. Uh, we don't have to worry about the animal run being smooth. We just have to make sure there's a door on it. And we'll go ahead and we'll move all of our production down here. Um, that'll do a couple things. One, it'll allow us to clean up this area for our storage bays to be actual storage bays. Uh... That, eh, Tokyo, that would have helped like four episodes ago, man. All right, so the second suppressor has dissipated. And that's great. So let's take a look. Somebody needs eyeballs and legs. We might as well do that while we have stuff. So you don't need an eyeball. Silver needs another eyeball. And I'm not going to give him bionic leg. Uh, but we will go, we'll give him another eyeball. Operation, operation. We also need to make sure that we get some more, uh, what is it, right eye? Alright, we're gonna have him go lay down. And then we're gonna have Blemish clean. And then by the time he gets up there to clean. Yeah. I, in Tokyo, I appreciate it, but now, now that I know what's going on, I, I don't, I won't need it because I'll just be that much more village. I've learned a lot so far by messing up all the time. And then we're gonna have him operate after he cleans. Yay! Dead base home. Alright, so Silver now has two bionic eyes. Let's see who else need stuff all right snow is a shatter but that's not she needs an arm i don't think i have any arms left middle toe none of missing a kidney um let's fix that and you need a left kidney Install left kidney. All right, so no, no. I lost my place. Well, Michelle, I don't want you doing that, my man. Let me get you to go and have a tea. I need to take my meds. And then I think, I think that's where we're going to stop for tonight. Um, I wanted to do a bigger stream, but since I can, I can stream tomorrow, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and help uh, with supper. I'm going to eat. I'm going to get a decent night rest. I've got a lot of work that I need to do for one of my um, clients in the morning. We've got to go get 
prepared for the hurricane. That means I gotta go buy stuff. I've got to do my budget up. But um, I'll see you guys tomorrow from 7 to 9. Thank you guys so very, very much for um, coming and hanging out with me and just, you know, just being awesome. And I uh, thank you and I love you guys so much. We'll watch Darno get his, uh, his kidney and then we're going to go call it a night. And I will get my apparel things done up tonight. There we go. And on that wonderful note and the cool, cool soundtrack, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Guys, you have a nice night. Thanks. See you tomorrow.